In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert Easy Drummer 3 to get good drums in Cubase. Hi, I'm Dave from Sonic Asylum. If you like the songwriting features and MIDI grooves within ToonTrack's Easy Drummer 3, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do to convert the MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 into another drum software. This video will concentrate specifically on converting Easy Drummer 3 into Get Good Drums one Kit Wonder Metal. First, let's see this setup in action. Here you can see the individual kit pieces within Easy Drummer 3, triggering the kit pieces within Get Good Drums. And here you can see the MIDI grooves, also triggering the kit within Get Good Drums. In the description below, you will find a link with a free template to get you started. However, before you can use it, there's an included text file you need to install in order for the Easy Drummer 3 MIDI to correctly trigger within Get Good Drums. Let's get started. This process involves using plugins from Reaper's Replugs pack and also Reaper itself must be installed so that the correct file directories are present on your PC. You won't be using Reaper along with Cubase but it has to be installed on your PC for this to work. I've also included links to the Reaper website below Reaper is a free software that has a 60 day evaluation period, however it remains free beyond that. I encourage you to purchase a full license which is very inexpensive compared to some door software. The Replugs pack is completely free and contains a lot of useful audio plugins that I use all the time in the different products I work on. Copy the included text file to the following directory. The directory path is shown here on the screen, there's also a readme text file included showing the same path you need to install it to. Double click on the included Cubase project file, which will launch Cubase. Go to track 3, called MIDI to GGD, and open the ReJS plugin, which houses the MIDI Map to Key V2 plugin. Click on the Mapping File drop-down, and select the text file we previously installed in Step 1. This MIDI routing is made possible by utilising Easy Drummer 3's MIDI Out feature in the general settings, alongside the MIDI mapping, which ensures GGD is triggered correctly. You can also use this setup to re record the MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 into a MIDI track dedicated to GGD, as so. Drag or copy your MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 to track 1, MIDI from and to Easy D3. Arm record on track 4 GGD. Click record in Cubase and let the track play through. The resulting track has been transposed in the correct mapping, which is now on the main track to play back in GGD. As you can see this is very useful in being able to write songs much quicker in GGD using the MIDI from Easy Drummer 3 and not have to worry about transposing the MIDI which can be quite time consuming. I hope you find this useful, I plan on doing more videos for other drum libraries using this method as well as other doors. Please consider giving a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.